what is up guys welcome to the epic series and today we're going to be doing Kano off of Mortal Kombat now I know that Mortal Kombat X is coming up very soon um, I'm doing Kano back in sort of the original sort of art style so please do not hate uh, obviously Kano in the new Mortal Kombat X is totally different to actually the old one I think he's had a revamp or a rework so let's crack on it anyway and uh, I'll give you a quick rundown of the colors we're going to be using there's quite a bit of detail on this character uh, personal preference for the sandals I've gone for a orange stain clay you can actually just change this to a normal brown but I thought it'd just give it a little bit of sharpness as well so obviously you need the black wool for the skeleton and with the eyes and the detail and everything else red just for the little bit of eye that he has uh, the white stain clay for the skin you can actually switch that for sandstone to type 2 white wool for a little bit of the eye and also used as tax will be explained as well as we go. Brown wool for the little chest guard bit that he has. Uh, grey wool, normal dark grey wool for the outer eye, his laser eye. And then obviously light grey wool for his suit. And then as I say, orange stained clay for the sandals. So what we're going to be doing is building this off the ground. As well guys, you can build this however you want, but I never build anything on the ground. Purely because it just looks like shit in my eyes. So yeah. So we're going to make a nine block along however way you want. So Let's make nine blocks, which we're going to do right now. Which obviously, sorry about that, I thought someone was outside. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like so, and one either side, each of these. Do is use your white wall or normal wall for tax, which will tax something which we replace down and then remove shortly after. After, sorry. And it's going to be nine across as well. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One either side, just done that one as well, just really quick, like so. Now, you can actually have this out of the color you want. We can use orange stain clay. We're only going to use this just for this layer as well, so don't worry. As well, you can switch this out to anything that you want. So I'm going to remove that now because we don't need that, so that's all done. I'm going to put two black on top of these on each side, just coming into each of the sandals. So, one, two. Go to your gray wall or your light gray. I'm going to go two. Actually, we're going to come all the way along all the way along and all the way along this side as well put a black either side just to connect like so one more black on top easy peasy and we're just going to run this black all the way along until we cover the light grey and the same again at this side beautiful right come in one put one black as well and come in another one as well put another black so after that is literally just going to be a line of grey all the way across until we get somewhat to the middle I'm gonna come all the way to the white, uh, to the line. Get yeah, black, black underneath either side. Black, like so. Black, black. Gray. Come all the way along to the breaches to the middle. Another black, and then after that, you should just be able to connect all the way along. So let you have a quick look at that. As well, guys, if you get stuck in the video, please make sure to pause the video and go back. Pretty awesome that you can do that. So from there, just put black on either side. One, 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 like so. Easy peasy. And then put another sort of light grey or grey wall all the way along just to conceal it and just to cover it up a bit. So, grab another black and that's just a black line all the way along. Make sure not to connect those angles. And we'll start you doing the right hand first, which we're going to start using the white wall or normal wall as a tack. So, put a tack down. Grab your black wall and come three along. One, two, three. Put another tack. One tack. And we'll come four up. One, two, three, four. Sorry, four. Is that four? One, two, three, four. What it was? One, two, three, four. Like so. Sorry about that. Come back down one to one, and then you want to come an extra five along. So, including that one, two, three, four, five on there. Come up from this white tack here. Obviously, this white tack helps out a lot because what we're going to do is just build up two section like that, and then we can remove that white tack. And with this sort of section here, it's three along with white stained clay and two high for the hand. We have a look at that as well. Real quick, so as you can see, we've got the two block there connected to the white tack there. Three by two high with the white stained clay and obviously connect it out for the hand there. And obviously leave that block out there for that tack that we just removed. Now, from here, come along up the top here and make a four along with white stained clay. One, two, three, four. Leave the end block here. Place a black right on that end block. And then you want to put two right in the middle of white stained clay. Black on either side, but not this side. Put a grey this side, and then another grey with a black next. As you can see, black this side, grey this side with the black. Just one there. Two black on top of this. No, not on top of that. 
on top of here, make an L, like so. And this L will shoot all the way up and make his head. But uh, this bit here is going to go brown, and the same this side as well, brown. On top of that is a black on top of that brown. And then from this brown coming towards the left, so we're going to go right to left, is five. So one, two, three, four, five. And from the fifth one it is a light grey, black on top, a light grey, a black on top, a light grey, and then an L with black, like so. From the L from black, we can actually start making the other hand, which is going to get an interlink, but we're going to start from the bottom here. We're going to put a white tack down here. As you can see, exactly the same as the other side. We're going to be starting. The hands are very similar. If you can look all the way out, see that white tack was there. Exactly the same pattern as well. We're going to go three along and then four up. So we come all the way in. So we're going to go one, two, three, like so. Another tack. Go with your black. One, two, three, four. One in the middle. One from the second one from the top. And that's going to come an extra five out. So six in total. So two, three, four, five, like so. That's going to come all the way that down to make a so block like that, one there, and then remove those tacks. As you can see, pretty much exactly the same. Scoop all the way back in and make the three along by two high with white stain clay just with the hand. Same on this side, Not obviously because the, the sort of strap from his chest is running down this way. Not this way as well, so just one strap along. So we come all the way along here, should just be a straight line. White stain clay, three on top, and then one in the middle, like so. Now we can actually just build this up really nice and easy, and that should all connect like it has beautifully. Awesome, very happy about that. What we can do now is make this slightly easier. So switch back to our brown wool, our sorry, our light grey. We're gonna put a grey, and we're gonna put three brown. One, two, three. Put three on top of it as well, coming towards the right. So one, two, three. So as you can see, it's three. Miss one, three. Miss one, three. And it's just gonna carry on. One, two, three. Miss one, one, two, three. And there we go, that is pretty much it. A white stain clay just with a little bit of chest and the rest of that sort of section in here, if you zoom all the way out, is literally going to be a light grey wall. Fill all that in right now for you. There we go. Boom, lovely. And as you can see, there we go. So now, obviously, let's start on with the main factor, which is going to be his head. So if we come all the way here, we're going to go from this black block here, we're going to go for our brown and we're going to come three high. One, two, three. Next up, we're going to put some black. One, two, three. We should write right next to it on top of the brown as well. Come up two. One, two. A brown on the right of the top black block. Black block on top of that one. A brown to the right. And a black one on top. And you want to come probably seven along. Oh, there we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, like so. The visible stair set down one. Another one as well, but this beam should, fingers crossed ladies and gents, should connect. Oh, and it did beautifully. That's pretty much his head done. So what we need to do now is his eyes, which is probably the hardest bit of this whole entire build left, if I'm totally honest. So, we're obviously going to make the bottom half of his chin, which we do with characters generally. So his chin here. Put another one just here. Black all the way along, probably to about four. So one white stain clay, four black coming towards right to left. So we should have the remainder two here, which you do. One, two, three. I'm also going to start doing the eye now. So get your grey wall, so your darker colour. Come along three. One, two, three. And from the two that are here, I'm going to make a four block of red. Four block of dark grey on top. And you want to miss one, so white stain clay. Go back to a dark grey wall. And just connect this up like so. Same again on this side. You're going to come two out though. One, two. You're going to miss one, obviously, that like we have. And there we go. That's sort of his sort of laser eye, and then right next to that we're going to make it the actual eye. These are not tacks, so please do keep these in. From the grey block on the right over here, zoom all the way back in. Um, one out to the right, one, two black underneath, one, two, and then a white, and then on the black of these, just conceal it, just put two black, two white right next to it as well, there. And the rest of this you can actually just fill in with white stain, white stain clay. But after that we're going to start doing the hair, so before that, sorry. From here, just come all the way back up. Just so it connects. I come three in from this block here, from the third one. If you zoom all the way out, it's just three here. You can see that. Come all the way in. Three, one, two, three. Come out one. 
connect that up as well. And make it sort of a shape in here, an L. And this is obviously going to run all the way along. And then one more, and that's pretty much it. Now we can just fill it in with white stained clay, and that is much Kano done, pretty much. The old Kano. Please do that membrane, guys. If you played the other old stuff, the retro stuff, you would have gone back, and obviously this being 8 bit series, you would have gone back and did that. I always do that. I've explained that in the last video. And there we go, that's Kano, the old skin. I might do the new ones if they come out. Um, I'm not entirely too sure that they seem very detailed, so probably not. But that is pretty much Kano all done there. Guys, if you did enjoy this, make sure to give me a like and a comment. Thank you very much for making this part. It does mean an incredible amount to me. As well, if you did Kano or any other My Mortal Kombat, or just generally your own picks a lot uh, that I haven't found yet or done, please post a picture on Facebook or my Twitter. The links are in the description. I'd love to see it, guys. I honestly would. Until the next time, guys, get a cafe and get a cat out.